If this is your first time here welcome to the channel, if this is not your first time here welcome back. Here is another video covering hunts that are detailed in the PTCA magazine of our dogs. We may end up sharing some content about hunts that happen that do not involve our dogs in the future, but we have not committed to doing such as of yet. Nonetheless we hope you enjoy this video about our hunt in New York with our good friend at Cut Up Kennels. But before we go any further let us say Cut Up Kennels is a great benefit to the breed. Either way without further ado here is part 1 of the story of the hunt in New York. On the weekend of the 25th of July Cut Up Kennels up on a hunting event which had multiple purposes. First and foremost to help the farmers of the area. This hunt was held on thousands of acres consisting of multiple farms. Second to start some friendly competition amongst serious hunters to see how their dogs stack up against others. There were awards given to everyone that was able to successfully dig to game with their dogs, and there were best in show awards given to dogs that performed better than others. While awards are not what the sport is all about, and many of the best dogs in the world will never see an award. All of the workers should be treated like heroes. But even more importantly what many and I mean many terrier men fail to understand is that if the working aspects of the breed are to continue into the next generation then we must support and encourage the next generation of people to enjoy the use of the dogs. During this hunt there were many kids ages ranging from as young as 9 to as old as 16. Many of which were happy and excited to earn an award for traveling so far and helping farmers put food on the table. So if you think about it the proper way there is no harm nor foul in giving awards to dogs that did the deed. But even more importantly doing such will help ensure the next generation of workers is secured. There was a total of 25 to 30 people that showed up. People from Georgia, New Jersey, Ohio, Michigan, Maine and other states. Some of the kennels that attended the hunt were Triple C Kennels, Warrior Monk Kennels, Buckeye Blood Kennels reps and of course one of one kennels. Warrior Monk Kennels did not enter dogs in the competition for the sole fact that they are based out of New York less than 30 minutes away, and there was likely ambiguous feelings that were hidden. They were a great example of good sportsmanship on this day. Being willing to help the hunt any way they could. Unfortunately latter they proved to be dangerous to the breed and the work of those helping farmers. Being they misrepresented what the work is all about by painting it in a bad light through contacting the Humane Society and rescues to cause legal issues because they didn't have the backbone to stand up for themselves like men when they transgressed against good men and women. They did this to attack some good men that came to New York to help make sure all went well for both the people and the dogs during this hunt. Sharing images while with captions that are complete lies. But on this day they acted like good kids and made sure to not offend anyone as they would have been dealt with accordingly. But what was even more amazing than a man scared to act on his true feelings when face to face with others was the number of new men eager to learn how to dig to their dogs that attended. It was great to see so much fresh blood in the sport of digging terriers. We traveled the farthest out of everyone that came to the hunt. But even after doing 15 hours on the road we were eager to cut some dogs loose. The first day was a day full of raccoons. Triple C Kennels and one of one kennels took the best in show awards home on this day. Triple C used a dog by the name of Jay and Jay's Bailey which is a daughter of an import direct from Gould named Gould's Vald. Triple C is known for running this blood. Bailey did a great job locating a set that was in the base of a tree. It was a colony of coons living in this set. Bailey worked hard to keep all of the coons still for about 45 minutes while we used a chainsaw to increase the size of the opening. Bailey had a mixing style that was perfect for holding multiple quarries still. She used more voice than mouth but would implement a little mouth when needed. We, one of one kennels, utilized a male that we imported from Portugal name Oras. Oras is down from the very old Warren Bud blood with some Schwab and a dash of pickaxe in him. Oras has been known to be an intense and hard mouth terrier. Being we were not able to safely cut into the tree any further we sent Oras in. Immediately he went right to work in his normal silent style. This gave Bailey confidence to be more direct with her quarry. At the end of this dig we came out with a total of 5 raccoons. We continued hunting the rest of the day helping farmers get rid of vermin. Right before the sun went down on this first day another groundhog was located at one of the hunting spots. Utilizing a jip bred by us that we affectionately call one of one's demon doll we dug to a large sized groundhog. This jip turned one year of age on the day of this dig. 
True to her style thus far she entered and silently held her quarry until we got down to her. This Jip was easily the smallest dog of the hunt thus many of the onlookers were impressed with her ability to stick and stay. This Jip had been on five or six groundhogs prior as well as a couple coons, it was a great time with some great men. Those not that were newer to the sport of digging terriers got to learn how to utilize a bellman and flint collar to locate their dogs. They also got to see several different options the market has in terms of locators. They got to see different style of dogs working. It was great to speak to them about the uses of different styles of dogs in the field as well. It was a great and successful event and we are looking forward to the next one which will be hosted in Buffalo, New York in October 2020. All are invited feel free to contact us for information via email at oneofonekennels at gmail.com.